Hi everyone, welcome to my latest video review. I would just like to apologize in advance, I do have a cold, so I apologize if you can't hear something that I said. Before I start off, um, of course, as you can see, this is the Shinken uh, Pink Figure Arts figure out of its box. I actually want to point out something that I failed to see while I was doing the MLC review, which is really cool. Um, up top over here, it actually says the full name of um, the Shinkanger. Let me just see if it will zoom in there. As you can see, it says Mako Shirashi, which is really awesome. I don't know how I missed that. I guess because the font was too small, I don't know what it is. But, <coughs> again, sorry about that. But, you know, that's really awesome how they put that up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first introduce you guys to the accessories that the figure came with. So, let's get started. First, this figure comes with a really nice looking uh, samurai sword. Again, I apologize because I do not remember the exact terms for these accessories here. So I'm just going to use the basic names. <laughs> and then, she also comes with this really small... Um, turtle that's supposed to be like her animal here sorry here we go then we have the turtle in its origami form right here and also she comes with a shoto phone in um, paintbrush mode She also comes with this really nice, uh, very detailed heaven fan. As you can see, it's very nicely detailed with the white in the center and the pink surrounding it. It comes with the origami, it's not origami, sorry, the disc. And also the handle of the weapon is really nicely detailed with the gold and the pink. This uh, disc actually does slide off. Try to take it off for you. Yeah, it is sometimes a bit tough. Well, let me show you the disc up close. Hopefully it will zoom in. Whoops. Yeah, since it's small, it's kind of hard to hold on to. Let me try to get it. Ah, it went all the way inside. Okay, here we go. I finally got it. Come on, zoom in. This camera is like a few years old. Okay, there, I think it's gonna zoom in. So, zooming in isn't something that it does right away anymore. Well, you guys can kind of make out what it looks like anyway, so I don't want to waste the time putting it up close to the camera. <laughs> and then she also comes with um, these skirt pieces. These skirt pieces are basically for if you want to put the figure in extreme poses so she's not hindered or uh, restricted by the skirt so that's why these pieces these skirt pieces are there they're like uh, soft leather so it's pretty cool and also i didn't take it out because um once you take it out it's kind of hard to put them back in the box they don't stay well but she comes with all these different hand gestures appropriate appropriate for whatever sh you want to put on her hand so like if you want to put the paintbrush on her hand then you would use one of these hand gestures if you want to wanted her to hold the or any of the origami pieces then you would use another uh, feature like let me try to show you a close-up and also because these can get easily lost so I just keep them in the box now let's actually get to the figure itself. This is the Shinkanger figure. This is that whoops, sorry about that. I guess I just dropped my camera there. Sorry. There we go. So this is actually one of the very best female figures, Power Rangers and Sentai combined. Because of course they went really all out to make it as accurate as possible. <coughs> as for the features. As for the as for like sorry what the figure can do, you can actually do quite a bit. 
starting at the leg here, you can actually you can actually move move the front part of the boot like so. so you can put it down or you can also move the boot further down like so you can also like uh, rotate rotate the shoe <laughs> like this figure actually can do a lot it's just the skirt because of the regular skirt that's there you can't really move their legs much and it has a knee uh, the standard knee joint right there you can move the legs as well and also the hand here is ball jointed so you can like move it back move it on and then move it down and then it has the elbow joint as well and then her hand right here is also ball jointed so you can kind of move it up down however you want as for changing out sorry about that as for changing out the different hands sorry let me move her back so you guys can see her as for changing out the different hand, uh, little hands what you do is you had to kind of pull it out I, I actually would show you but the problem is once you take it out putting it back in is really hard it will just waste a lot of time so <coughs> You have to pull out the hand, you have to put, and you basically pull the new hand in. And as also it has, um, it also has articulation in the helmet, you can move it back and forth, up and down, and all around. That's basically it. And also she comes with the Shoto phone in its pouch, and also like, um, a little, um, holder for the sword right there. Now, oops, next I'm going to show you, if you want to change the skirt, how it's to be done. I'm just going to show this on pink. Pink, when I do yellow, I'm just going to show you, like, the other stuff. So, what you do is you basically... Oops. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of tough sometimes to take it out, but yeah, sorry about that. So you take the figure apart in two, and just remove remove these halves, and then you attach these instead. And starting with this right here, it has a little little uh, tab here that you align with the skirt. With the uh, with this with the tabs that you have on the actual figure, it's easy to put the tabs first, the little sides, and then. Oh, I did I put it the wrong? Oops, I put it the wrong way. Let me just fix that. Uh, sorry for the time there. Sometimes it just doesn't like to go. And there we go. And you just take this right here and you put it all the way on the top. So that's what it would look like. So you would take the belt. Sorry about that. Let me just move this. kind of had to hold the belt as you would put the other half of the figure on. Let me just... Yeah, so there we go. Sorry about that. I just had to make sure I got it on properly. So that's what it would look like. I don't know if I put the halves on properly, but it's basically if you want free leg movement. So as you can see, it would be more. It wouldn't be as hindered. You could do it a lot. You can do a lot more. There's a lot more articulation on the leg there. That's what the figure would look like. So. 
So yeah, so that's the Shinkin your figure arts uh, Shinkin pink. And honestly, my whole opinion on uh, how to change the skirt is not a really favorite one because you know you kind of had to decapitate the figure to put the skirt on. It kind of uh, is a painful process to do. I mean, for me to watch an expensive figure and to do that to the figure. So yeah, so let me show you the Shinkinger figure using the weapon. So here, she is <coughs> holding her sword. Sorry, let me just. There we go. Or uh, and I'll also put her little fan on her hand as well. These figures are exquisite because they went all out to tr give us a really accurate figure. So I'm really pleased with the turnout of these figures. So that's basically it. And as for the figure arts line, these are really meant for collectors. Like if you're a collector who really cares for accuracy and you want a really top-notch accurate figure, this is for you. But if you're the simple fan who um, wants figures to represent the Shinkane or Samurai team, I would say go for the 4-inch figures because... Um, these are way too expensive, and the 4-inch figures are just as good. I only really got pink and yellow because um, I, I always thought they looked a lot nicer. And I always liked the shades of the shade that they used for the pink ranger and the Shinken pink and Shinken yellow. And also I want to have a 5-inch figure represent them, but that's just me. But yeah, so that's my review right there. I don't want to keep going. It's going into 12 minutes there. So... Yeah, so um, thanks for watching, and as always, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to uh, ask under the comments section. Thank you, and have a great day.